like evil. Baby face, smooth as bottomless saxophones, round midnight innocence, held hands with immaturity across puberty street, got hit by testosterone, black out my chin, black, plagued my face from ear to ear like burnt cornfields where I harvest my confidence. The hardest thing in life now is having to shave it, damn it. <laughs> this shit is amazing. Let me tell you, my bed inspired the bed of Jesus. And that was only the left side. My bed balanced the federal budget by licking my elbow, turned a black hole white at light speed, and while it was still in space, told me about it on FaceTime. My bed invented the full body orgasm. You're welcome. <laughs> my bed is more handsome than I am. Got its own page in every yearbook I've ever been wonder how this is possible when it sharpened every signature until it saw its own reflection. Then coined the phrase love at first sight. Every woman I have ever dated cheated on. With my bid. It did everything I could. Like never changing who it was from the first time it whispered I love you. It whispered I love you. It never yelled. It fought for them, not with them. Took their hearts dancing in the ribcage ballrooms. I had to break mine to build. Waited on their doorsteps every night with roses. Then exchanged them for water lilies. Once it started raining, see romance is just masculinity's Halloween masking. Every day is a dead relationship celebration. My bed is manhood. And manhood be maturity at its highest power, at its highest risk for judgment. Pride in appearance means preparation for prejudice, but I wear my masculinity like Kevlar for insecure bullets and jealous riots. I got the bottom of a ski mask on when I rob your backbone and wear your paralysis with pride. My bed is alive and more of a man than I ever will be. It fits like a sandpaper puzzle over my boyish complexion. More rough than sensitive, if sensitive at all. It never cries. Instead, it's the harbor my tears run to. When too ashamed, I can't hold them any longer. It would probably be a better father, which cuts my pride. Like winter winds whispering the truth from ice shard tongues. If you cut me enough, eventually my body will decay in its own scab cocoon. But cut my beard. And it will always grow back, more consolidated and stronger than ever before.